What's something your parents always believed in that was completely false? That the computer is broken again because I used it one time last year. Oh my god. Yes. Every time the computer is messed up it is because I used it one time for 5 minutes. Or the, your video games are the reason our computer is messed up, is always great. Even though the computer we have is designed to play those games and I've ensured it has all necessary components to run said games. My mom's go-to is, well your sister was on YouTube again. Yes. Because YouTube is the source of all the viruses. Definitely not the porn my stepfather watches. You know. If I was a mechanic they would trust me to fix their car. I work in IT and build computers. Why the hell do you think you know more than me? My mom thought every house we lived in was fucking haunted. One day. I realized. Oh. She's just an insane person. For some reason. I can totally hear John Mulaney saying that. You see K. This O-U-G-H-T-T-A be good. That with determination and persistence. You can walk into a hospital or law firm and get a job as a professional in those practices without any prior related education or experience. Still hearing this one from my fiancé's parents. Sleeping with a fan on will kill me. I've done that every night for years. Ditto, literally thousands of nights spent sleeping in a closed room with a fan running. Still woke up in the morning. Curiously. Been seeing dead people for years. Though. Obligatory gold. My dad insists it's pronounced Steinfeld. Despite the obvious lack of the letter T absolutely fucking anywhere in Jerry's name. That's obviously not correct. Maybe I'm remembering this wrong but wasn't there an episode where Jerry has a nightmare where the G-men bust into his place and kill him for an illegal cable installation and they all call him, Mr. Steinfeld. That people open bags of chips in the store. Poison them. And then reseal them. No one does that. Mother. One time. Me and my sibs found one of those huge packs of assorted individual junk food. Yeah. It was in the road. But it looked fine. It was like finding gold because we weren't allowed much junk food. Dot for some stupid reason we showed our mom who told us that people can use needles so tiny you'd never see the holes to inject bad stuff in the Cheetos etc. Lesson learned. Do not show parents found food. If only they would share this amazing technology with the medical community. My mom was convinced that Tiger Woods was Oprah's son. That's the funniest racism I've heard in a while. What racism? In the 80s my mother and father heard of a game for the Atari 2600 called Dungeons and Dragons and it was possessing children who played it. They heard that you would become locked in a trance. Staring at the screen and you would have a death grip on the controller and no one else could separate your hand from it and the power plug for the Atari would be magically bound to the plug-in on the wall and no one could unplug it. My parents are so stupid. Except for the power plug thing. That's pretty much how I play most video games. It doesn't fuse to the wall. It just has a built-in security system in the form of a feral. Ferocious. Mad as hell that you just lost all that progress you. My parents had this weird thing against role-playing games when I was a kid. They always said they were dangerous. For some reason. It wasn't until I was a little older that I started to realize how stupid that was. It wasn't about magic or anything. Either. But the act of role playing. I don't understand. I should ask my dad right now. My mom legitimately thought that Albert Einstein invented math. They had a bet going since I was young that I would come out as gay. I'm straight. My dad always thought I was secretly gay. My mom didn't. Came out as transgender to my family. My mom didn't say anything but has been really excited to finally have another girl in the house. My brother just said, really? That's awesome, and my dad spun around in his chair and yelled, I told you, to my mom. My family has been pretty supportive if you couldn't guess. 
If only all fathers could hold being right over their wives as more important than their child's sexuality. Tampons are not to be used by girls because they will make you a woman. Subsequently, no man will ever marry a non-virgin. My mom told me a story once that after my aunt broke up with her live-in boyfriend. My grandmother tearfully asked my mom, how will she ever find a husband now? This was the late 70s. I was like, damn, that's the plot of Pride and Prejudice. This was so insane. I was told that tampons, absorbent cotton, would stretch you out and make you loose. Yeah, maybe if you use like four or five at the same time. My grandmother asked my doctor, are there tampons for virgins? Also, that they might enjoy the process somehow and it turns the sweet little princesses into total hoss. Not an urban legend, just complete ignorance. Oh god I had to explain to an ex that I didn't get off by inserting a tampon and then why I didn't get off. It was one of those conversations where you swear you can feel your brain turning to sludge. Anyone who does anything that involves putting something in their mouth smoking, chewing gum, do so because they were not breastfed as a child and need to make up for a childhood of not having something in your mouth. Every cigarette smoker and gum chewer in the world was never breastfed. She was absolutely perplexed the day I came home chewing gum. Spit that out. You were breastfed. Lol. Were your parents raised by Freud? No. They were trying to make up for not having been raised by Freud. My mother wouldn't let us drink water right after we took any liquid medicines, she thought it would dilute them. You should have waited 44.3 minutes. My parents believe that maggots are spontaneously generated. They refuse to believe that they're just fly babies. They think that with enough scum and ickiness, a load of maggots will spontaneously appear. They also think it's gay for men to groom themselves and treat themselves. They're just mad my eyebrows are great and my hair looks awesome. Might wanna tell them that the experiments that disproved spontaneous generation specifically used maggots. Dash. Wow. His parents are 155 years out of date. This smelly horrible tasting soup is good for you although I don't have any credible information to back this up my fellow Asians will understand. People often avoid smelly horrible tasting things. And people often die. Coincidence? I think not. My dad would and still does use at light year as a measure of time. For example, we've been waiting on you for a light year. Hurry up. Your dad doesn't happen to be that one trainer in Brock's gym. Right? Man. This reference is as solid as. Something. Really solid. Good job. That they know how to handle computers. Coming home from school and uninstalling toolbars. No. The toolbars got there because of what you did. Not um. I always tell them the best antivirus is common sense and they never believe me. Well that's because antivirus software will give your computer autism. That going outside with wet hair would give me a cold. Even though it isn't true. I wouldn't go out with wet hair if there's a chilling breeze going on outside. Or in the winter. Your hair could freeze. Right? If it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Then yes. The garbage men are all kidnappers and rapists. When you hear the garbage truck come around, run for your life. I used to follow the trash truck around the neighborhood, waiting for them to pull the lever that operated the big scoop. I loved that thing, but was very sad because I was a white kid and I thought you had to be black to become a trash man. One day, a crew came around that included a white trash man. In disbelief, I ran home to tell my mother about it. She told me that anybody could become a trash man. It was the happiest day of my life. My god that's adorable. That the average stranger is not only going to steal my stuff. But kidnap and murder me. I understand being protected. 
that I can't even go biking through my own neighborhood. My mother freaks out when we pass a truck. She thinks the car can be sucked under the 18-wheelers trailer. My father is awesome and always acts like it's pulling the car in. Then he saves the day. My mom still thinks that it is possible. This might have something to do with why your mother still believes it. My mom still believes that you can overdose from marijuana. Like fatally overdose. Well, maybe. If you shot up like 8 or 9 whole marijuanas in one sitting. My father used to think you get irradiated by standing in front of a microwave. Mine too. I get in trouble for watching the food go round and round. My mom made a paste out of baking soda and a little bit of water and thought it would cure my sore throat. She would put it on her finger and rub my tonsils with it until I sometimes puked. She also thought that minced onion in your stuffy nose will clear it all up. You just have to endure the intense burning for a few moments. Yay. I hated being sick as a child. Well I guess you never faked sick to stay home from school. That blood is blue until it contacts air. Yeah. It sucks because blood carries oxygen. And 3232 underscore and 3232. The main argument I use when dealing with those people. It kinda also backfires. Blood is blue. Contact with oxygen makes it red. No it isn't. Needles are airproof. Why is blood in them red? Besides. Your blood carries around oxygen as its main function. The blood in needles is red because blood carries oxygen in it. You just said it. Are you retarded? You dense motherfucker.